Hi everyone, and welcome to the BricsCAD Lab. My name is Grant, and in today's session, I'd like to discuss some simple functionality of the OnStart list file, a similar file that you may be using right now in your similar CAD environment. All this to help with your migration to BricsCAD and make it run as smoothly and as comfortable as possible. Let me show you how. If you're a CAD manager, a CAD user, or anyone who's considering purchasing a CAD system, you know the importance of understanding the environment. Upon opening this drawing, we can see that the command line has presented us with some very useful information, all geared toward the user. Now, all of it comes from the OnStart Lisp file which is automatically loaded in when BricsCAD opens the first drawing of any session. Anyone can create one. They are simply a text file with the extension renamed to .lsp. There's some Lisp code inside, of course. We'll call those instructions. Now let's take a look at those instructions. Here are the instructions inside the OnStart list file. It's telling BricsCAD to display certain information on the command line. It starts by acknowledging to the user that it has successfully loaded. It then offers a hello to the user. It tells the user the BricsCAD version, then the current user profile, then the template associated with the drawing. It has a full search path and then the workspace that has been chosen by the user. Now don't worry too much about this code. We'll deal with that in a different session. But consider the benefits and the value of describing to the user the environment and the settings before they start to create. Thanks for joining me here today in the BricsCAD lab. If you need to know more, let me show you how.